my name is Omar and these are my group members. Uh, I'm going to talk about the iPremier company, IT governance and the issues of uh, iPremier. So what is IT governance? Uh, the organizational capacity exercised by the board, executive management and IT management to control the formulation and implementation of IT strategy and in this way ensure the fusion of business and IT. And so what are the issues in the iPremier case? We found that was like a lack of vision, uh, no crisis management strategy, uh, no emergency plans, lack of chain of commands, lack of control, outdated technology, and poor fire firewall. All right. So next is the various stages of IT governance. Uh, those are that we found in the case. Uh, could be the plan, uh, identify existing processes, capa capabilities and loopholes, uh, make IT governance framework including security, and make crisis management strategy and emergency plan. And acquire IT system should be developed or acquired uh, according to the needs, uh, update current software and firewall, and integrate them with business processes. And the last uh, various stages of the IT governments are deliver and support, uh, continuous management of security. Today we talk about internal security problems for iPremier. Similar to JP Morgan, who also had an internal security breach, who had one employee's computer hacked and gained a match to over 76 million households' information. Uh, iPremier also had the lack breach, as their lack of internal security allowed one person, uh, that data center, to fix their problem, as this person was on vacation their problem could not be minimized or fixed properly. Uh, in both cases, this breach was only made possible by the actions or reactions of one employee with such a huge impact or control over their network. Uh, what will happen to iPremier is they will fire their data center and possibly sue them for breach of contract as they paid for a 24-7 service and as this person was on vacation, they, this breached their 24-7 service requirements. Uh, uh, they should find a new data center that will allow them service that will either minimize or prevent future breaches, allowing someone to help m mitigate any problems that are future. And George, and I'll be talking about what will happen to Prem by Premier next. So in my opinion, I Premier will be facing many consequences, <coughs> both legal and in terms of their customer relations. Now, despite no information being stolen from the third party access to I Premier, the fact that there was unwanted third party access says a lot about the current backup and protection methods used by Premier. Now, I believe that customers should be sent out a warning email to be informed about the attack and the possibility of another attack occurring, as they have the right to know what's going on with iPremier and the measures taken to protect their information. Now, in saying this, if this was to happen again, there may be a case of theft of personal information, which has happened to many companies and has led to major problems with the law and the customers. This is why it is important to ensure a strong internet security system has been set up no matter what the cost, as the cost of paying for security will be cheaper than losing customers due to theft of personal information. A similar instance of an external attack was with Target. The only difference is that Target is much larger and had information stolen. There was 40 million credit cards and debit cards that were exposed, and 70 million had their personal information stolen. And Target had suffered $200 million of costs to both improve operating system and... And, the, and, and the other consequence that iPremier can face is a lawsuit. It didn't specify whether the customer information was stolen or not, but if it was stolen and used by an authorized person, it's likely the customer will sue iPremier for the negligence in preparedness and failure of protection. In fact, there is a similar case in real life. eBay is facing a lawsuit after high-profile data breach, which forced their customers to change their password. Um, and additionally, they are criticized for the attempt to hide the incident from customers. So the customers to the company because they didn't protect the data properly. And it actually is continuing to cause damage to its customers. There is a claim that uh, information stored and collected by eBay can be used for the identity theft. So considering the similarities, um, <coughs> I pretty much should prepare a lawsuit if there was any information. So, thank you all, and thank you for the listening. Thank you.